Hi, Doug Stewart with IT Creations with another review. This week, we'll take a look at Lenovo's high-end workstation, the P710. This system features dual processors and a shoehorn between the top-of-the-line dual-socket P910 and the single-socket P510 workstations. If you're familiar with the previous ThinkStation P700, then you won't notice much difference between the two platforms. However, the main difference is support for the Intel Xeon E5 2600 V4 processors, which also support DDR4 memory for greater throughput and support for more graphics cards from NVIDIA. Well, let's begin. The P710, like its predecessor, is ISV certified to deliver uncompromising performance with industry-leading software for applications in architectural design, 3D CAD, medical imaging, manufacturing, and finance. You'll also find the same ports front and back as its predecessor, lending high adaptability to your unique work style. A plastic baffle, part of Lenovo's tri-channel cooling, directs fresh air over the processors and memory modules. Tri-channel cooling can also increase airflow in one of the channels to cool specific hardware components. As you can see, there are touch points throughout the chassis indicating removable components for easy upgrade and replacement. Several security features ensure your workstation and hard drive stay where you left them the day before. Oh, just a moment. Hello? Okay. Okay. Really? Oh, okay. <laughs> For a limited time, just mention this video and you can save up to $250 off the purchase of a Lenovo P-Series workstation listed at $2,500 or more. Give us a call to take advantage of this special offer. And let's continue. Android smartphone users equipped with Lenovo's mobile diagnostic app can quickly gather and analyze system information by plugging their smartphone into a USB port on the front of the system. Lenovo also just released a new software tool to maximize performance with pre-configured settings for specific software applications. Like Dell's Precision Optimizer, Lenovo's Performance Tuner helps workstation users fine-tune their system for specific software applications to increase performance on both single and multi-threaded applications. And just like my favorite price for goods and services, it's free to download. Lenovo's Flex features give users flexible options for component choices. The Flex Bay is really just the 5.25-inch optical disk drive bay on the front of the system, but it can also support an optional Flex module or two additional hard drives, either 2.5-inch or 3.5-inch HDDs or SSDs. The optional Flex module supports one or multiple port options that can be installed in one of the 5.25-inch Flex bays. The Flex connector is a PCI mezzanine slot located on the motherboard that can be used to support one of the following. A Flex adapter module with two M.2 storage devices that can be used for super fast boot or for additional storage. An LSI RAID Flex adapter for a SAS SATA RAID or multi-channel I.O. Flex adapter for two PCI SSDs. Lastly, the Flex tray provides hard drive support in each of the four internal HDD bays. Each flex tray can support either a single 3.5 inch or 2.5 inch drive, or dual 2.5 inch SAS and SATA HDDs and SSDs. In all, the system can support up to 12 storage devices depending on how you outfit your flex options. Controlling some of those hard drives is an embedded six gigabit per second SATA controller. Optional HD RAID controllers provide faster access speeds at 12 gigabits per second. If you want RAID on the flex based storage devices in the 5.25 inch bays, then you'll need the optional LSI RAID flex adapter, which connects to the flex connector and will take away those M.2 storage devices. But if you have to have it, then you can always use the PCIe expansion slot with a card that supports M.2. Depending on your budget, you can choose from wired or blind connect options for the main drive bays. This particular chassis features a wired connection for the main storage bays, but can be easily adapted to support a blind connection with the addition of an HD backplane. Users can start off with just a single processor supporting six of the 12 available memory slots. Then as business needs change and your budget, you can add a second processor and load up six more memory slots. In total, the system will support a maximum of 384 gigabytes of memory using 32 gigabyte registered memory modules. All in all, this is the same system as the P700, but the P710 does not support load-reduced DIMM modules, and as a result, supports significantly less memory than the P700, which could host up to 768 gigabytes using LR DIMM modules. Of course, with the Intel V4 processors, the supported memory will run at up to 2400 megahertz for significantly faster throughput, up to 22% faster. E5 2600 V3 processors is still supported, but will only provide a top memory frequency of 2133 MHz. There are six PCIe slots total, and a flex connector, which also uses an internal PCIe X4 slot to support an optional flex adapter. Three of the PCIe 16-lane slots are dedicated to graphics support and can be outfitted with up to three GPUs from NVIDIA, depending on your choice of power supply, either a 490-watt, 650-watt, or 850-watt PSU. While embedded video is not supported, with three NVIDIA graphics cards, you could support up to 12 monitors. This particular system is set up with an NVIDIA Quadro M4000 graphics card with stereo connection bracket to support 3D apps in true stereo. With the remaining PCIe slots, you can add more ports 
or components including Thunderbolt, more USB 3.0 ports, eSATA port, Wi-Fi, and single dual or quad port network interface cards. This system is fully customizable with a modular design to support whatever workload, I.O. configuration, ports, storage, and memory requirements you might need. This is an excellent workstation for industries that need supercomputing performance like software development, manufacturing, graphic design, finance, electronics, and medicine. If you need more performance, there's always the P910, but for the majority of users, the P710 has more than you need and then some. We hope you enjoyed our short review of Lenovo's P710 workstation. If you have any questions on this workstation or any other workstations, post a comment in the section below. I also added a few links to the specifications and a link to IT Creations if you're interested in pricing this system. If you like this video, give us the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to receive notifications when we release a new video. Well, that's it for now. I'm Doug Stuman with IT Creations, and thanks for watching.